What raises your blood pressure? There are four hormones that play here. Hello, Dr. Joe here. Now, from the minute we wake up till the very moment we fall asleep, and even when we are asleep, there are master regulators that regulate a lot of our bodily functions. And I've got about 16 of them, okay, inclusive of you know, energy production, your mood, your appetite, your temperature regulation, your blood sugar regulation, and even your blood pressure. I've got about 16 bodily functions on this very list. And uh, I'm going to tell you uh, the master regulator for each and every one of them. Do you know them? Well, please stick around because you're going to learn a lot in this very short video. But before we do though, a quick plug. This is my award-winning book on managing high blood pressure with lifestyle approach. This is the second edition of this very book. Links to get this very book right below this very video. So let's kick right off. Bodily functions regulators, okay? Number one, what revs up your metabolism, okay? What hormone revs up your metabolism? Well, it is thyroxine. Now, by the way, I'm going to list them all out for you uh, towards the end of the video. So if you don't remember, don't worry, okay? Just follow me for now. So that's number one. What raises up your metabolism? That's thyroxine. What raises your blood sugar? Well, you've got glucagon, you've got cortisol, you've also got adrenaline, okay? Those will raise your blood sugar. What lowers your blood sugar then? Number three, what is that? Well, obviously, that is insulin, okay? Insulin does that very well. Number four, what regulates your body temperature? What does that? Well, it is, again, thyroxine, okay? Thyroxine. Number five, what aids your sleep? What aids your sleep? Well, it is melatonin, okay? Melatonin hormone. Number six, the opposite of sleep. What keeps you awake? What keeps you awake at night? You wake up at three o'clock in the morning and you're wondering if you are ever going to fall asleep again. What does that? Well, it is cortisol, okay? Cortisol. Number seven, falling in love. You know, those early days in a relationship where you met a new partner and you've been on the phone for like four hours and it's now two o'clock in the morning and you have to go to work the next day. And you say, okay, let's end this very call. And then you say, oh, put the phone down. And the other one says, oh, no, you put the phone down. Oh, you put the phone down. No, you put the phone down. You keep going back and forth like that for the next five minutes. What hormone is responsible for all of that excitement? Well, it is oxytocin, okay? Oxytocin. Number eight, feeling hungry. What makes you feel hungry? What hormone is responsible for that? I call it the grumbling hormone. Makes your belly to grumble. The grumbling hormone. What is that? Well, it is ghrelin, okay? Ghrelin. Number nine. Let's move on to page two. Number nine, satiety. This is the hormone that makes you feel full and uh, you stop eating and also you stop craving, uh, you know, carbs and sugar, anything that, uh, uh, that is within vicinity, even fatty foods, okay? What's, what's responsible for your satiety? Well, it is leptin, okay? Leptin. Number 10, motivation slash pleasure. Now, um, this, this one is not really a hormone, it's a chemical substance. Uh, I call it the hormone of um, pursuit of pleasure, okay? Because when you sort out the pleasure, it motivates you to engage in that activity over and over again. And in fact, I will also call it the addiction substance, if you like. So what is that? Well, it is dopamine. Okay, dopamine, that is your pleasure pursuit uh, chemical substance. Number 11, stress. What is responsible for your stress? You probably know this already. It is cortisol, okay, cortisol. Number 12, energy production. What is responsible for that? Well, a couple of hormones here. You've got 
cortisol, because it's going to rev up your energy, uh, cortisol, adrenaline, and to a lesser extent, noradrenaline. Okay? Number 13, feeling sunny. What gives you that sunny disposition every day? You're happy and uh, you want to do a lot of things within an hour. That feeling of sunny disposition, what chemical substance is responsible for that? Well, it is serotonin. Okay, serotonin. Number 14, this is for the ladies, milk production. What is responsible for that? Well, it is prolactin. Okay, prolactin. Number 15, pregnancy, especially the early parts of the pregnancy. And also sustaining the pregnancy going forward. What hormone is responsible for that? Well, it is progesterone. Okay, progesterone. Number 16, raises blood pressure. What raises your blood pressure? There are four hormones that play here. Number one, you've got cortisol. Number two, you've got adrenaline. Number three, you've got noradrenaline. And number four, you've got aldosterone. Okay, aldosterone. Those are your enemies as far as blood pressure re you know, reduction is concerned. So those are the uh, master controllers that are responsible for all of these 16 um, bodily functions. And um, like I said, I'm gonna list them out for you. So here's the full list all itemized for you. Page one. Remember, you can always pause the video to have another look, okay? And then let's move on to page two. There we go. So I'm hoping you got some value from this very video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Please like the video and also please share this video with your friends, with your family, with your colleagues. Questions, comments down below. That's it for this very video. Until next time. Well, this is Dr. Joe signing out.